thanks to the person who uh, bought me one. I've got a GTX 1060, which is uh, really sweet. Um, I'm really, really glad that I didn't get a 980 uh, Ti like I was thinking of getting last year. Would have cost me about um, three times as much as this, two to three times as much. And um, for in pretty much all the um, stats I've seen, um, the uh, 1000 series outperforms the 980s. Uh, obviously, a 1080 is going to do way better than a 1060, but um, 1060 is still pretty good. In fact, as it says right up here, it is VR ready. Now, that doesn't mean jack squat to me because I doubt I'm going to have the money to spend on a VR system anytime soon. Not to mention, uh, from what I've heard from Giant Bomb, while the experience is pretty neat, um, so far it's kind of like the Wii. There's like one or two games that are worth um, playing on. Um, this also supports GameWorks and VRWorks, so I don't really care about that. Um, G-Sync, don't have a G-Sync monitor, that'd be really sweet. Uh, hopefully I can get one of those as a gift um, this year or next year. And DirectX 12, again, I don't care about that. But um, one of the things I do really think is really neat is NVIDIA Ansel. Um, I'm planning on trying that out in uh, Witcher 3. I'm not sure if it's in Witcher 2, but uh, I love the ability to kind of within the game engine um, position your camera anywhere to take a picture. Um, as someone who does photography in the real world, um, that'd be kind of neat. Uh, could be neat for making some uh, backgrounds uh, or uh, titles for the uh, Let's Play videos that I do. Uh, outside of that, you know, there's not really anything huge. It does support Vulkan, which is really cool. So uh, if you don't know, Vulkan is the next-gen uh, OpenGL. Uh, it's supposed to be really, really good and allow programmers to do really low-level stuff. Um, generally speaking, AMD does Vulkan a little bit better because it's based on one of their specs, but it really could uh, allow Mac and Linux to be first-class citizens. Um, I'm really glad that thanks to Steam uh, OS, there's been a lot more games that will run on Linux, but um, still not all as many AAAs as there could be if developers switch to Vulkan. Um, it does support OpenGL uh, 4.5, which is really nice. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the 750 I have on my Linux computer only goes up to OpenGL 3, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, HTCP 2.2, I don't really watch uh, commercial Blu-rays on my computer, so that doesn't matter. Um, it is really, really awesome that it does have um, a bunch of DisplayPort uh, 1.4 connectors, as well as um, still having a DVI, which is good because all my monitors are DVI, uh, as well as uh, H um, HDMI, which uh, some of them support. Uh, it does have this really neat uh, dual fan design, which it claims is uh, purely silent. I call BS, but as long as it's pretty silent, I'll be really happy about that. Uh, it's got six gigs, which is really sweet. So on my Windows computer, which is where this is gonna go, I'm replacing a 250 uh, GTS, which I bought about eight years ago when I built that computer. Uh, so super duper old. It was not top of the line back then. And uh, if you happen to watch my last plays for um, uh, The Witcher, you saw that it was really um, detrimental to my gameplay. Uh, and I had to really, really lower the settings. So uh, I kind of swore off any AAA games until I got the card. And um, it, as you know, every 1000 series card that NVIDIA has been putting out has been impossible to find. So I was really glad that I was able to get this as a gift. Um, what else did I want to mention on here or about this? Um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to uh, for AAA games to see how much better they run. Uh, or, uh, you know, either more frames per second or uh, being able to um, bump up the settings. Uh, right now in Civ 5, I've got everything on low. Um, I'm hoping that with Civ 5, I can put everything on high. Uh, for Civ 6, it's a newer game, and this is not the best card, right? The 1080 is the best, and this is two levels below that. I might have to go for medium settings, but at least I'll be able to do something. Uh, usually, um, it, it's been a Civ game that has caused me to buy a new graphic card uh, because the current one wasn't supporting it. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Don't really have anything else to say about this. Uh, let's open her up and see what's inside. Very nice looking.
looking kind of professional-ish. Um, so this is MSI. I was hoping to get gigabit, j gigabyte just because I have um, really, really good um, luck with gigabyte, but MSI is also pretty good. All right, so in here was a quick start guide, uh, some stickers for my system, including once the safety are ready, and the latest drivers. A uh, thank you for buying the product. It says it was made with passion and they hope I enjoy it. And this card is a bloody beast. Look at how big this card is. Holy moly. I would have to say this is probably about uh, at least twice the size of the 250 it's going to replace. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to pop this in there to make sure it works. And. Um, uh, as part of the video I want to ultimately put together for this, uh, you'll see the um, Engine Heaven uh, run with my old card, you'll see it with the new card, you'll see the stats. Um, I'm not going to show myself putting it in there because graphic cards are pretty easy, pop it out, put one in. Um, so anyway, it's kind of neat. I, I guess I'll take it out of here just so you can see what it looks like outside of the static packaging. All the ports are covered. Look at this beast, man. Look at that. That is... It's pretty sweet, though. Everything's capped, which is nice. But yeah, that is uh, ridiculous. Alright, cool. So first up, you can see my original graphics card running unit Jim Heaven. And you can see that it remains in the single to two-digit numbers. Um, not getting very much higher than 10 frames per second. So if you look in the top right hand side, you can see that it's doing 10 times better than the previous graphics card, uh, even if you don't see that visually because I was only capturing at 30 frames per second in OBS. Here are the web pages generated by Eugen Heaven, so you can take a look and see how different these scores are. It's pretty fast. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, be sure to click the subscribe button. I also enjoy comments, so feel free to leave one below. I have a pretty eclectic channel, so here's a selection of other videos you might enjoy.